Dog refuses to leave the bus. Then the driver checks the camera and sees something crazy. The sun had sunk below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of lavender and deep blue. Neon signs flickered to life, and the bustle of the city continued under the fading light. The city bus, with its familiar hum and occasional rattle, made its way through the snaking streets, stopping periodically to pick up and drop off its buried passengers. On this particular Tuesday evening, the bus was awash with its usual mix of characters. Weary office workers with their loosened ties and untucked shirts, students buried in their textbooks, and elderly couples sharing their day's stories. Yet, amongst this commonplace scene, an unusual passenger stood out. A medium-sized terrier with a golden-brown coat hopped aboard at one of the stops. Without a leash or an accompanying human, the dog confidently climbed the steps and ambled down the aisle. Its intelligent eyes scanned the space before it finally chose a vacant spot near the middle of the bus, curling up comfortably. Whispers began to circulate among the passengers. Whose dog is that? One lady asked, adjusting her glasses to get a better look. A teenager, earphones still dangling from his ears, knelt beside the dog, attempting to check its collar for any identification. But there was none. Each time the bus came to a stop, several well-meaning passengers tried to coax the dog off the bus. A motherly figure offered a piece of her sandwich, hoping to lure the dog outside. A young boy, no more than eight, tried to engage the dog in a game of fetch using a crumpled piece of paper. Still, the terrier remained undeterred, occasionally looking up with its soulful eyes but making no move to leave its chosen spot. The atmosphere on the bus grew thick with curiosity and concern. People began to craft stories about the dog's origins. Some believed it was lost, separated from its family. Others imagined it was on an adventure, reminiscent of the famous tales of pets traveling great distances to reunite with their owners. Some passengers even debated about taking the dog home, ensuring its safety until the rightful owner could be found. As the journey continued, the initial whispers evolved into a camaraderie among the passengers. The bus, usually a space of anonymity, transformed into a temporary community, bound by the mystery of the lone terrier. A toddler giggled as she extended her tiny hand to let the dog sniff, and an old man began recounting tales of his childhood pets, drawing a small crowd around him. The bus driver, having noticed the unfolding spectacle through his rearview mirror, announced over the intercom, Anyone missing a dog? Met with negative responses, he sighed and gave the dog a kind, empathetic glance. As the evening deepened, street lights poured golden puddles on the asphalt, illuminating the path ahead. The bus's soft glow became a beacon in the night, a moving vessel of stories and speculations, all centered around the quiet, unassuming terrier that had unintentionally brought strangers together. The city lights were dimming, and a gentle hush had enveloped the surroundings as the bus ambled towards the last few stops of its nightly route. The hum of the engine was punctuated by the soft creaking of the nearly empty vehicle. The seats, which had earlier held the weight of countless stories and souls, now sat vacant, all except for one. There, nestled between the fabric seats of the bus, was the unexpected passenger, a medium-sized terrier. Its golden fur shimmered under the bus lights, and its alert eyes, filled with an inscrutable blend of defiance and distress, monitored every move of the sole human aboard. Fred, the bus driver, was a gentle spirit, having driven this route for over a decade. He was no stranger to odd occurrences, forgotten umbrellas, lost wallets, and even the occasional passenger falling asleep. But a lone dog? This was a first. With a gruff yet kind voice, Fred tried to converse with the canine visitor. Hey there, buddy. Time to head home, don't you think? Opening the overhead compartment, Fred retrieved a small packet of biscuits he kept for occasional snacking. Kneeling down, he extended a piece toward the terrier, his face radiating warmth and concern. Come on, pal. Let's get you out of here. However, the dog remained motionless save for its darting eyes and the soft whimpers escaping its throat. The melancholic sound seemed to echo the creature's inner turmoil, hinting at a narrative far more profound than a simple bus ride. Worry creased Fred's brow. The idea of leaving the dog alone at the bus depot was unimaginable, but then an idea struck him. The bus was fitted with a new security camera system. 
Maybe, just maybe, it captured something that could shed light on this mysterious traveler's journey. With a renewed sense of purpose, Fred carefully maneuvered to the front of the bus. The small screen attached to the dashboard blinked back at him, awaiting instructions. Rewinding the footage, he scanned through the tape, hoping for a clue. The digital clock on the footage ticked backward as scenes from the evening played in reverse, departing passengers, brief exchanges, and the ebb and flow of city life. Then, there it was, the moment the terrier had boarded, its little tail wagging, seemingly following someone, a young girl. She had a bright backpack and a matching ribbon in her hair. They seemed inseparable, sharing joyful exchanges until a sudden distraction. The girl stepped off at a stop, presumably to fetch something or ask a question, but before she could reboard, the bus doors closed, separating the inseparable. Fred's heart ached, watching the scene unfold. The terrier's frantic gaze, searching for its young companion, now made tragic sense. The loyalty and determination to stay put, waiting for a reunion, was heartrending. Determined to right this unintentional wrong, Fred whispered a promise to the terrier. We'll find her, buddy. With the image of the young girl imprinted in his mind and the dog's unwavering trust fueling his resolve, Fred decided on a detour, retracing the route and hoping for a reunion under the city's shimmering lights. Fred's fingers hesitated momentarily before pressing the rewind button on the security system. As the digital numbers rolled back, his heart raced with anticipation. The soft glow from the screen illuminated his weathered face, accentuating lines of worry and hope. The screen flickered to a moment earlier in the evening, the setting sun casting long amber shadows inside the bus. And there, standing at the entrance, was a cheerful young girl, probably not more than ten, with her radiant smile and bouncy pigtails. Next to her was the now familiar terrier, its tail wagging with equal enthusiasm, the two of them emanating an infectious aura of joy. As they settled into a seat, Fred observed the sweet rapport between the girl and the dog. It wasn't just the bond of a pet and its owner. It was deeper, more akin to two best friends sharing secrets. The girl whispered into the dog's ears, giggling at their private jokes, and every so often she'd offer a treat from her pocket. The terrier, in turn, would nuzzle her, licking her face, making her erupt into delightful peals of laughter. As the journey continued, passengers alighted and boarded, each engrossed in their world, giving little more than a cursory glance to the delightful pair. Yet their merry energy was palpable, subtly touching the heart of anyone who took a moment to notice. The footage then showed the bus pulling into a bustling stop. The young girl looked up, her face displaying a trace of confusion. Fred recalled stopping there slightly longer due to a technical glitch with the door sensor. The girl hesitated for a moment, then, as if gathering courage, stood up, leaving the dog momentarily, possibly to approach Fred with an inquiry. The terrier, left by itself, perked its ears and watched with curious eyes, its body tense with anticipation. But in a cruel twist of fate, before the girl could make her way to the front, the bus doors hissed closed. The bus started moving, leaving the bewildered girl behind, her palms pressed against the cold glass door, her eyes wide with shock and filling with tears. Fred's heart constricted watching the painful scene unfold. The dog's reaction was even more gut-wrenching. The joy and playfulness from just moments before were replaced with panic and despair. The terrier jumped onto the seat, its small body stretching to peer out of the window, hoping against hope to catch a glimpse of its lost companion. The playful wag was now a still tail, the vibrant eyes clouded with confusion and longing. The footage continued, showing the dog's subsequent refusal to leave, its hopeful gaze fixed at every stop, scanning, waiting, and yearning for the familiar face of its young friend. Fred paused the playback, wiping away a tear that had trickled down. The weight of the situation bore down on him, but it was also accompanied by an indomitable resolve. He felt a deep responsibility to reunite the pair, to bring back the joyous laughter and wagging tail that the bus had unintentionally separated. He made a silent promise to the forlorn terrier still on board. We'll find her. The weight of the digital footage pressed heavily on Fred's heart, an unexpected blend of regret and resolve. He was an experienced driver who had always believed in sticking to his route and schedule. But the bond between the terrier and the young girl was undeniable, 
and he realized that some things were more important than a timetable. Making a quick decision, Fred announced over the bus intercom, Ladies and gentlemen, we're making a slight detour tonight. Hang tight and thank you for your understanding. He rerouted the bus, turning it around and heading back toward the stop where the young girl had been unintentionally left behind. Each turn of the wheels seemed to resonate with the heartbeat of every passenger on board, all equally anxious and hopeful for a happy reunion. As the familiar buildings of the earlier stop neared, Fred's heart raced. The bus lights, cutting through the darkness of the night, illuminated the bus stop ahead, and there, unmistakably, was the silhouette of the young girl, her pigtails slightly disheveled, pacing anxiously back and forth on the platform. Next to her was a bench, and on it her bright red backpack, looking stark against the dim surroundings. The bus hissed to a stop, and even before Fred could fully open the doors, the terrier, filled with a burst of energy and recognition, bolted out. The scene that followed was one for the ages. The dog ran, its little legs moving faster than they ever had, and the girl, recognizing the familiar bark, turned around. Their eyes locked, and in seconds they were in each other's embrace, a whirl of joyous tears, fur, and laughter. The relief in the girl's voice as she whimpered, I thought I lost you, echoed the sentiments of everyone who bore witness to this moment. Passengers from other waiting buses, having pieced together the story from snippets of conversations and the infectious joy emanating from the reunited pair, broke into spontaneous applause. A couple of elderly women dabbed their eyes with handkerchiefs. A group of teenagers cheered and clapped, and even a stoic businessman, always engrossed in his work, took a moment to smile and appreciate the warmth of the scene before him. Inside the bus, the passengers erupted into cheers, some standing up to get a better view, others whispering about the touching reunion they just witnessed. The usual mundane bus stop was transformed into a mini amphitheater of joy, with Fred's bus playing center stage. Fred sat back in his driver's seat, the weight in his chest now replaced with an overwhelming sense of contentment. Wiping away a tear that had formed in the corner of his eye, he took a deep breath. This detour, this little break from routine, had brought forth a poignant reminder of life's fleeting moments of unexpected beauty. As the young girl boarded the bus, her arms securely around her furry friend, Fred couldn't help but think of the incredible bonds of love and loyalty that bind us all. That night, a simple city bus became a chariot of joy, and its route, a journey through the heartwarming lanes of human emotion.